All right, guys. There's a new head of FMCSA, Sue Lawless, right? We don't know too much about her yet, but she just proposed a new rule, and this one might actually make sense. You know, right now, these towing companies, they tell you, and then they charge you later on, like they say it's going to be $6,000, and then the the fee is like ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000, and they're hoping to insurance scam you or make money from you, from your deductible, but at the end of it all, it's not right, and it just holds your trailer or your truck hostage. I've interviewed so many people about this. So, mud truckers, as we get into this article right here, I want to ask you, When's the last time you got screwed by a tow truck company and how much did it cost you? You know, because in this new proposed rule from the FMCSA, Sue Lawless wants all the upfront costs right in front of the truck driver before they say yes to the tow. Basically, with this new rule, Mother Trucker News won't have to help out truck drivers like this one where they pretty much uh, put his truck on hostage and we have to put him on blast and we helped him out, but this rule would help all that. We're getting our truck back. Thank you, all you truckers, all you mother truckers out there, for all your help. to um, talk to them about trying to get my truck out and they and 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 I go listen you guys made me pull the trailer over here illegally I said um all I need is my truck so I can go to work what's the tow bill I said I towed the truck over the trailer over here and um he went in he got he was really mad and everything and he gave me a 20 about a twenty two thousand dollar Oh, What's going on, mother truckers? Uh, welcome to Mother Truck News. Email us on Mother Truck News at gmail.com. You know, we know uh, Robin Hutchinson, the head of FMCSA, is uh, finally out for her own reasons. So uh, there is a new lady in town. Her name is Sue Lawless. You know, uh, I don't know too much about her, but I know that she is proposing a new rule. And tell me, owner-operators, truck drivers, what you think about this? Because I actually think she's starting out with something that actually makes a little sense. You know, she says here, the FMC say calls out the sham towing fees charged to truckers. I have made so many videos in the last eight years where truck drivers have gotten tow bills that, I mean, they literally went five miles 10 miles, 15 miles. And yeah, you're thinking they're going to have to pay $500, $1,000. You know, I've been in situations like that before. I was a bed bugger. You know, our boards go underneath. So our trailer sits very low where our belly boxes are. So I've been stuck before and a little pop out just by a tow truck was like 600 bucks. So I can imagine it being a couple thousand dollars, right? But where the predatory scam comes in is they tow your truck from a truck parking uh, spot like A1 towing, right? I'm calling that out. And now your bill is twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars, and they're not expecting you to pay it. They're hoping your insurance does. But now you're just held captive, and you don't have a truck. You know, I'll put a couple video clips of the people I've interviewed in the past, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. And so Sue Lawless is wanting to propose a new rule that these tow truck drivers across the state have to actually tell you exactly how much they're towing you for before they actually tow you. So you're not getting any of the hidden fees or any of that. And if there are hidden fees, she's saying that shouldn't be counted against you. So mother truckers. This actually seems like something that could help truck drivers and owner operators. You know, if if you get in a small accident, you get in a bind, you have a tow truck come and they tell you right there and then this is how much it's going to charge. And then you say, OK, I'm OK with that for whatever various reason. Then, hey, there shouldn't be anything extra. Right. And so this is a new rule that she is proposing and i think it potentially could be a good thing you know uh tow truck drivers the ones that watch the show tell me 
you know, uh, is this good? Is this bad? Uh, I'm sure with any new rule, there are parts of it that screws over someone. Lawless cites several potentially unfair or deceptive fee practices used by predatory towers. They include hiding fees until the job is completed, charging for unnecessary or worthless services, and imposing an excessive number of fees for excessive amounts, all of which can add up to thousands of dollars, she said. She says, once towed, truck owners and operators are in a very vulnerable position and highly susceptible to predation. Lawless row predatory towing companies can and do use their possession of the vehicles as leverage to price gouge and otherwise prey upon drivers who are in no position to push back. Man, she's making a lot of sense in this. So at the end of everything, the agency suggested that a final rule treat each illegal junk fee as a separate violation and that it expressly prohibit companies from charging or collecting fees that are not appropriately disclosed, are not included in the total price, and or cannot be fully calculated up front. You know, I, I think this is a big one, guys. I think this guy help a lot of truck drivers, owner operators out. You know, you should have the total fee up front before they even touch your truck, right? Again, I know some of these truck stop situations where like A1 was just towing your truck from truck stops and next thing you know, they're impounding it, you know, but for situations where accidents happens and this and that, I, I really see this benefiting the truck driver. You should know what you're paying for before you pay it.